Okay, let's continue. I'm so gonna be fucked, I know it. He's the old man I'm not the old man, the hobo is hiding in the closet right now. And when I'm gonna open it, he's gonna jump on me. The voice acting is not the best thing in the world, but it's like it doesn't bother me. Some character it bothers me. Okay, this room's gonna be the same as everything, but I need to check them still. Without pop, I'm weak. Okay, I'm getting tired of searching these rooms. <laughs> I'm gonna search them later. Oh fuck, this place seems very fucked up. Uh, are you in there? Hello? Okay. Okay. Nothing. Nothing here. I don't know if that should be a good thing. No, it is a good thing. I put my volume louder, so I'm, I'm scared that a jump scare comes in or something. Okay, I am going to have a bad time doing this. It's going to be annoying as fuck. Come on, just something appear already, because I'm getting tired of looking at all this fucking room. Yeah, so this is gonna suck. Yeah, fuck this place. I hate it. I'm just gonna go upstairs. There's nothing here. Okay, so what's here? It's basically the same thing. He's just gonna come out. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm not liking this. Wait, I need to check the garbage first. Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't I don't want to bother looking in this room because it's going to take a while. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm just going to take a look. Okay, dude, I think this is a fucking maze or something. This is crazy. Oh, it's different, right? It's smaller. I'm not even sure. It is smaller. No, I'm just crazy. I fucking hate this place. It's not smaller. Why is there infinite stairs? I feel like I keep ending up at the same place. Going around town. And around town. In a knee. Okay. Now that my character realizes it, maybe something is gonna appear. I don't feel like going in the rooms, it's way too long. Nothing different here? Whoop. Hello? And Scooby Doo. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm getting tired of doing this. It's annoying. Okay. I'm going basically nowhere. What's this? There's a sign of something having been erased. Maybe this used to say the floor number? Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea. Damn it. Where'd that jerk go? Hmm. Okay, so I guess we go downstairs. Great, I don't... Am I... Am I fucking stuck? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Maybe I should write, right? This place seems abandoned. Should be fun, right? The signs of something have been erased. You marked it with spray paint. Okay. So let's see. 
Oh. Wait. Okay, this is another floor. Can I use this pre panel account? I can't. Oh. I can hear. I can't hear something. Oh, fuck. Hello? I think I took out took off the uh, voice acting by accident. Hello? Oh fuck, hello? Not in this one? Not in this one? <sighs> fuck my life. Oh. <laughs> okay, that gave me the creeps. What about this here? Nope. I do not like this. What the fuck is this old man? This is giving me the creeps. Okay, old man, get the fuck out of here. It's annoying. Wait. I'm hearing those cries. It's like what the detective or policeman told me. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked soon. There's a notice about interviews on the bulletin board. Patients set to leave the hospital must be interviewed by their doctor by within one week. Okay. There's a yep, same thing. Oh. Oh. Uh. Seem. Ah, uh, that's confusing and annoying. Can I just take this with me? Area map two. Okay. It won't open. It's locked from inside here. I can't even... That's not even the fucking floor. Wait, if that thing's... Wait, I can maybe... It seemed to be locked from the inside. It won't open. It won't open. Okay... It, there's a lock here. So I must go to that room with the bar. Could be something. Okay. That seems like a plan. A plan. Hope I won't get fucked along the way. Can I just put a fucking paint? He does not want to use it. Okay, it's three floors. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, so... I think this is the, the second floor, right? Yeah, this is the second floor. Okay. Okay, so let's say... Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is... It's a little confusing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is the... Okay. Okay, let's say... Okay, so that's the the room I came in. This is the first first floor. So this is floor the first one. Then we need to go to second. Wait, I'm gonna check again. Uh yeah, first one. This is the second one. So I need to go to the third one. This is the third one. The third one is the one I I marked. Right? Okay, I don't know, but I need to go to that last room. Yep, I need to go to that last room. Hello? Not here. So let's go to the next floor. Because I wrote a zero, so I, I don't even understand what the hell you wrote, but... Oh, fuck my life. It won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. There's a small gap under the door. 
Can we use dynamite? Just kidding. What can we use? Okay. It won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. There's a small gap under the door. Okay. I don't know what to get. Oh shit! Fucking hell, I did not expect that. The fuck is that? Oh fuck my heart! A dirty bed. There's a dark red stain on it. Blood for sure. Hmm? Just tell me you don't know what the fuck blood is. There's something under the bed. Oh, please don't be the hobo. Oh. My beloved Alec, I heard you're being moved to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. If you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. One week from now, I'll come see you. Sit at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. I'll have a knife put under the table. Take it with you in secret. There will be two letters. I mean two there, but only take one. Ar Arkin will bring the other one if you if you fail. Arkin has told me he'll de definitely get this letter to you. Once you read this, hide it and don't show anyone. Because if you, anyone finds it, it will mean trouble for Arkin. Your loving mother. And I gave him a guy voice. Okay. As if maybe you read that. Okay, I'll come see you. Sit at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. Okay. Okay, I think I know what to do. Sit at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. Okay, visiting room it is. God damn it. So let's go to the visiting room. Fuck this place. Dining room. Why are these open? <laughs> I'm so fucked. Oh, fuck my boy. You know, I'm scared. Oh. <sighs> I think I'll regret put, uh, putting my vo uh, volume up. Okay, let's go. Get this boy have some balls. What the fuck happened here? This place gives me a really bad feeling. I don't think we should go there then. You're right. Fuck this place. Oh, fuck. Who opened this? I couldn't go here before, right? Is it like, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh mother fuck! Oh fuck! There's something under the table. Or the side you can't reach it. Fuck you! There's something under the table on the other side, but you can't. Oh, I understand. I have to go to the other side. It's closed now. Fuck my life. It's here. I have to go to the other side. I'm so fucked. Uh, bring me life to save it all. In the end, I'm so fucked. Okay, it's locked. Finally. I'm so fucked. Here? There's something between the table and the floor. A knife. Okay, I got a weapon now. You wanna fight, monster? I got a weapon. I guess that's gonna... You under the table. I'm gonna use this to... I don't know why. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Woo! What was the fuck was that? Holy shit! Oh, that gave me shiver. Oh! Holy shit! 
<laughs> that was way too close. Ah, okay, let's go back. Two, three. I think it's here. Should be here, right? Oh, Popo! Pop! You little bastard. It won't open. I know what to do. Okay. Uh, knife. I don't know what a knife is gonna do, but... It won't open this... Why do I have a knife again? It won't open this... Uh, wait a sec. Okay, sorry. Uh, my mom called me. They always call me when I'm recording. <sighs> okay, so... Why did I use... Why am I want... I want a knife again? I guess it's gonna be useful to, like... Eh, I don't know. I still need that key for that fucking weird door. Okay. I know there's something after me. That's why I fucked my life. Yeah, fuck this floor. I got a knife, so if you want to fuck with me, you better fuck with me now. Okay. I really don't know where to go. I really don't want to get scared. There's definitely a man somewhere. Why can't I open this? He's in this floor. I just don't want to find him. You don't know how much it gives me the chills. God damn it. I think I have an idea where to go. I'm going to go where that there was an elevator thing because... That's like my last clue where to go. Fuck my life. Please don't chase me. There's a hobo. There was that um, the fucking thing that was crawling on top. Wait, where was the elevator thing? I really don't know where to go. <laughs> Okay, wait, where I had to go again? I literally forgot. One open. One open. Oh, I can leave now. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Pup. If I left without pup, I would be a real scumbag. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Ah! That took me way too long for nothing. There's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming from the... I'm gonna save first because I'm gonna get fucked. Are you ready to get fucked? We're ready to get fucked. Oh! It's the hobo! You're the one crying. Hey. You don't look. You, you were the one in the hall earlier, huh? I thought about talking to you, but you were praying. Oh, you don't seem bad. Pop. Don't eat him, please. Oh, this? Is it your p pet? Don't eat him, please. He's more like my friend, kind of. Th that's a cute friend you have. Um, but 
still kind of weird to have a raft friend. I mean, they c can't talk, right? No, but this guy can talk to animals for some reason. Pop can talk. Oh, r really? I've never met a t talking rat before. Hey, Pop. Want to say hi to e Ed? Your name's Ed? Yeah, sh short for Edward. And you? Will, do you live here, Ed? Nah, I have a home, but I c can't go back. I'm s staying here for a while. I would be leaving soon, but I've g g got something to do. So I'm still not sure. Hmm, I see. Uh, Pop! Oh! What the fuck is wrong with Pop? I guess he hates me. Pop! Were you l looking for him? Sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look, but I'm busy searching too. What are you looking for? What are you searching for? A n notebook. It's small and black. I th well, hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sure thing. Thanks, Will. Okay, you're not so bad. Pretty awesome. And I think I'm gonna take out the voices. It's so weird. I don't know why. Was the notebook really here? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. Okay. You're making a real mess there. <laughs> I got hungry, so I've been eating. I think your friend wanted my leftovers. Okay. Why is there a fucking huge asshole here? Okay, not bad. Now that's one less thing to worry about. I have to worry about fucking ghosts. Okay, so Pop Dip. If I was a stupid rat, where would I go? Pop is being a, such a dick these days. Okay, I really don't know where to go. I'm lost. That really did not help. I really don't know where to go. Got it. There's still someone in this floor. God damn it. Okay, so... Uh, <sighs> okay, so... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it opened. I was about to quit, but... Thanks for opening, I guess. This is surely a trap. There is some... There is this again. It sounds like someone's crying. I do not like this. Can you stop fucking crying? It gives me an uneasy feeling. Ooh, soda. Can I drink some Coca-Cola juice? Juice is what I meant. One open. I do not have a key or anything, but I can bust this thing. Nope. I'm gonna read that letter. I guess I can't. Who needs to read anyway? Readings for losers. I guess only that can of juice interests you. Can I pop that window with a knife? It won't open. It really won't open. What's the point of coming here? Okay, so that bitch is crying. So I have to go the other way? Can you just open the fucking door? Okay, so there's something there. I need to go to that room. A mirror. Hmm. I can't remember that story, though. I really hate that noise. Can you stop? Ah! It's so fucking weird. Can I open the light? There has to be something here. Ball of old documents. I need to find a fucking book for that guy too. But there's... Ex oh. Oh. 
I thought I heard sobbing from the other room. Oh, fuck. It's, it's jump scare. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm okay now. What the fuck? I do not like this. He's gonna throw fucking something in the chair. You can see, blah, blah, blah. But I can't do nothing still. I can't even pick up the papers. Okay, I do not like this one bit. Oh, no, no. You can see the other room from here. But you can't see in here from there. Being watched from a mirror is pretty scary. Is that what the monster in the mirror is? Okay, I'm so scared. I don't want to. Okay, but that bitch, I still can't see him. So fuck him. I did everything. This room took me way too long. Holy shit. There's something written on the disc. Desk. The monster's driving me out of here. I don't want to leave. 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 And I don't want to leave. Okay. Anything else? Oh shit. I hate this place already. There's so many rooms. Jeez. To, to, to the... Now can I go to the other room? Don't tell me I have to watch that to, to trigger that cutscene. It won't open. Oh. See? I have to trigger the cuts. That's... Ah, uh, whatever. He's crying behind me. <laughs> what? He just fucking faint? <laughs> Jeez, I just went... Just sprint out the room. You just... This is why I hate the dark. Because there's always something there. Not really. Who are you? Okay, well, good night. Ooh, mama. Mom. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. <laughs> yes? It's nothing. If you say so. Good night. You have a cool room. I guess this is when you were younger. Oh. Okay, I would have been creeped the fuck out too. When it's night and the room goes d uh, dark, he always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. Okay, that's even creepier. He must be a meme. A mime. <laughs> a meme. I try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the light comes on. Jeff, who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he... An enemy? Okay, I'd have been scared to shit, too. You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. <laughs> wow. You! What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Nope. Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. <laughs> now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Huh? Why do you... Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Even if you do hide it in your jacket. <laughs> you can't just take people's things. So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? Yeah, I wanna, I'm interesting. I want to know, How about too. This, then? What kind of business do you have with David? Oh. I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? I'm his cousin. No, stop snooping already. Okay, so that he's really his cousin. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? 
Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Guess that's his parents You're who did that? Back. Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? Now we go drinking sometimes. So I guess he met... I guess th if this is the cop from the boogeyman... Or detective, I don't know. That means he met David in that game. It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. Wow, you really don't give a shit about me. You come with me. Oh. Huh? And why should I? Because I'm... Scared. Hmm? Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. You just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. All this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't. But I kept insisting. You hit your head, kid. If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to visit a hospital. <laughs> if Pop doesn't... Doesn't come back, what do I do? It's so cold. I'm all alone. What if... Hey, now. Don't cry. You're 14, right? Can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Listen, this building's full of rats. I've seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? I hope so. That's good. You can just get any... His right leg's bent. And there's a little fur missing on it. Oh. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But... Don't get your hopes up. You can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. You're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? Alrighty. You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just... Who oh, he gave me his jacket. I'm a detective. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Well... What's your name? Keith. Now get on your way. Oh, so now suddenly something's on the floor. Clutch bag. Maybe it's Keith's. Hmm. Oh, all the years you suffered, those were the best years of your life. God damn. Hey, stop digging around in there. Oh. <laughs> Don't threaten me. Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, my dad will give it back. I can move now? Okay, nice. Clutch bag. You'll get yelled at if you looked inside. Old documents. Um, hey. What kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Cork bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Oh. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? Well, Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. Wow. <laughs> I like him, though. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. And locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old, so lots been lost to time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere. Because it's dark, and you're freaked out, so you think they're moving. 
Look, if you saw um, a monster in your boogeyman game, if it, if it is the same detective, um, you should fucking believe me. What the fuck? Oh, it's open. Hey, Keith. Did you unlock the store? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's interesting. I like that. Better save. You know, you never know when you get fucked. Obtain a key. What type of key? Whoops. Wrong place. It says document room. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah. Document room. Uh, where was the document room again? I don't remember. I need to go get my map. No more fucking yelling. Uh, map. Where's my map? Document room. Oh, okay. Floor one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know where to go. Do, 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 do. I kind of... I should have played Boogeyman first. I'm, I'm feeling sad a little bit. But he is pretty cool as a character. He seems pretty like, you know, the detective type. You know, it's awesome. Like his personality reminds me of the. I don't know for some reason the cop from Heavy Rain. Not the cop, a detective you can play with, as. That's the bathroom. Mm -mm. Document room. Where is it again? It won't open. Why did I already forgot? Okay, it's here, right? Wait. I think it's here. Yeah. I'm already lost. This is great. Document room. Nope. Staff. So if this is the staff room. Wrong place. But what's here? I forgot what type of floor we are right now. Build you. Ah, fuck. Oh, okay, here. Great. Okay. Pop? Is that pop? Why don't you oh, fucking talk? God, you. He's gonna jump on me and hurt me. Come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? Wait there. I'll get you down. Okay, that's easy. What's this? Lego? There's something on the ground. Tarot cards. Uh... Let me guess. At the end of the game... Oh. Okay, forget it. Okay. I was about to say at the end of, if that was one card I would say at the end of the game I'm gonna play cards with the the hangman or some shit. Movable ladder. Why don't you push it? Uh yeah. Kaboom. This is gonna take a while. You little piece of shit. I hate you. Why did you run away, Pop? Pop, you're doing it in purpose, you little shit. What's this? The tragedy that befell the homeless... Oh, okay. The happy murderers. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods of the outskirts of Marvel Hill? Why does it sound so Resident Evil? Deep Woods Hospital, which one account accompanied patients with mental illness was abandoned in 1970 and along <laughs> Bill was later purchased woods and all by one Jim Cork famous millionaire and philanthropist Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless calling and priests to open a chapel and running a social action program yet all this came to an end with that gruesome incident which would come to be called the happy murders one winter day, a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent, and soon discovered five corpses in the building. The cause of death all differed 
from stabbing to strangling, and they were also found in all different locations, yet there was a common future. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. After police questioning, five among the residents confessed to murder. As of their motives, they gave a various reason, having an argument or having never liked their victim. But they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from the ropes. The police announced that the most recent corpse was three days dead, and the oldest corpse has been dead for three weeks. Holy shit. Now you notice something bizarre, aren't you? In three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place, and the homeless residents in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on and pretending they didn't see a thing. Oh, after the five criminals confessed and stated their motive, they all made this final comment. Now I finally become happy. Cork has the facility completely shut down and the homeless living there all dis dispersed without ever speaking of what happened. Deep Woods Hospital has not been demolished, demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there quietly in the forest. Oh, that was nice. What's this? Is this incident from 15 years ago? Kit mentioned? Yikes! I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. That's a nice story to have. What's this? Is that a rat? I can't really tell. But that was a nice story. I liked it. Can you get the fuck out? Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? No, your rat is just being a dick right now. He was talking all nicely. And now, boom, he's being a, such a fucking prick. Okay, so he, if, if he's in the other room, I think I know where he is. But I'm just going to see if I can stab the hole or something. Okay, no. <laughs> Why would I be able to stab a hole? Okay. Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait. This door was closed. Fire extinguisher. There's a building map post up. God damn. More places to fucking go. I can't even read this map properly. Okay. Uh, whatever this fucking thing is. What is this goo shit? What's this shit? Something's on top of the flower pot. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. A headless doll? Why is it headless? And there's this starting this string tied around it. Voodoo dolls. Wait, is this hair? Voodoo dolls. Hey. Oh fuck. <gasps> Sophie. Gosh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? Why the fuck are you here? So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop. Stay away from don't me. Don't be a dick, Will. Sophie's amazing. You're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stirred a hole for me earlier. You know David. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked D David? The thing I... F look, I'm gonna just talk real quick. Since those creepy man stories, whatever, happened to Sophie, David, and, like, the detective, if that's him, I guess now... They know that he's going through some shit that we don't know about a man after him, maybe, I don't know. So they're trying to help him. I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. H hey, wait a second. Come on, Drew, go with Sophie. I said wait. Let go, you stupid She's girl. not stupid. She's a big badass. Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Oh, he does. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So, I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone. So, I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be 
quiet. I was gonna go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. I'm getting used to Will's voice. It, it just sounds not nice when I think about What's it. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. All right, in that case, I'll help you. Yay! Huh? R really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. Oh, this is so nice. I have total confidence on Sophie. College, junior high. Oh, he actually says stuff like that. That's cool. She's now in college. It's so nice growing up. I'm so proud of you, Sophie. You dealt with the sand, ma'am. Now you're you're a big girl. More shit in the floor. Oh fuck! It disappeared. Oh. It's gone. What is? Th there was a doll here, but it's gone. Yeah. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things. It was an ugly doll anyway. You're doubting me? I really saw it. Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one. Hmm. I am feel totally fine with Sophie with me. I know she can deal with some shit. Another doll? God damn, I hate dolls. Mr. Dennis Slainer has taken a long vacation for recuperation purposes. Okay. I wonder if I stab that doll, it's gonna be like a voodoo doll. With Sophie with me, I can do anything. And you wanna go in the bathroom with me? Okay, I thought she would say something. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Like um, that kid in the hospital on Crooked Band. He kept on saying stuff when you interact with objects. He would say some funny things. Whoops. Okay. Nothing. How about this one? Okay. Now how about this one? Okay, but fuck this. I hate going in rooms with nothing. It's a waste of time. And there's so much cracks in the wall or goo, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, cracks. A machine you don't really understand. A seat. Okay. Selves. Okay. So much room in this place. You want a soda, Sophie? Ah, uh, best nothing, right? Same old thing. Yeah. But I have to check because I don't want to miss anything. Oh, a bag. Wait, is that a bag? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that's something else. He's not talking about it, so... Guess it was some random shit. Fire Stunisher. Oh, dude. Huh? Mr. Keith? Oh, Sophie knows him too. Why are you here? Do you two know each other? Everyone knows David. <laughs> hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? For Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. Jeez. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget, this is a technically private property. Yes, sir. Okay. Tall boot, toolbox, it's on the shelf, out of reach. What are you doing, Mr. Keith? Hey, Keith, can you get that toolbox down? Hey, Sophie, get it for him. Wow. I can't reach it either. You lazy fuck, just do it.
<laughs> Thank you, Mr. Keith. Obtain a screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. Ah, that's so... Just like in the fucking hospital. Thank you. Get going. I'll call on you to your papa, Sophie. I, I know, I know. <laughs> you seem busy with the investigation. That's nice. I like Mr. Keith. He's pretty cool. Okay, but what do you do with that? Hey, what's your connection with Keith? He saved me when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. He's also my dad's client right now. Incident? Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. Yeah. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. I guess so. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy? No, not a bad guy. Not a good one. <laughs> well, which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. Like calling me matchstick or starving chicken. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's terrible. Starving chicken. Right? So he's basically calling you like skinny or something like that, right? <laughs> Starving chicken. Okay. Okay, so I I have a hammer, right? So there was a hole somewhere. I already forgot. But I can break that hole. But I'm gonna continue here for now. Oh. You don't understand, dirty bed, old man farts in that bed, yeah, garbage, sales. Okay. Nursery. So I need to go iron map 3, we're nursery. Okay, we're here. Okay. I do not like this room at all. Doll, the stomach is cut open with cotton coming out. Same thing, my ball. Same thing. A house. Okay. This doll stands out. No. It's the story book. The boy who cried... The boy who cried wolf. Once there was a, sh a shepherd boy who had to look after a flock of sheep. One day he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed it out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, where is the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha, I fooled you all. I was only playing a trick on you. A few days later, again he cried, help, help, a wolf, wolf. Again, the villagers rushed up the hill to help him. And again, they found that the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then sometime later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep, and then another, and another. The shepherd boy towards the village shouting, Help, help, wolf, help somebody. The villagers heard his cry, but they laughed because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest villagers and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it's true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away and many dead sheep lying on the grass. Well, that's what happens when you lie too much. This is why I don't say, like, lie jokes. Because they'll not believe, uh, they won't believe you. They will believe you at the beginning, but if you keep on doing that, they won't trust you. Okay. I hate these toy stuff. What the fuck? Is okay. There's a piece of paper on the desk titled Conversation with Lisa Gardner. <clears throat> Lisa, could you tell us about your picture? Is that the boy who cried wolf? Yes, that's right. It seems to have a different ending. Did you make it? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because they didn't believe him. What the fuck? The boy was the one who lied. Isn't, that, isn't he the one who did something wrong? Grown-ups lie all the time, too. And all the villagers died. No, four of them are still on the run. 
What are they doing now? I don't know, but a wolf better eat them soon. Why do they need to be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Well, Lisa, I hate you. This boy fucking fold. You don't kill all those for that. Huh? Is that Link? One day, a shepherd boy saw a wolf meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. But the boy said nothing to the villagers. A few days later, lots of wolves attacked the village. The wolves ate lots of pea villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right! You wouldn't believe me! So you got punished. That's great. Great. I fucking hate that story. That ruined the ending for me. Okay. That's not great at all. What's this? Rubble? Rubbish? What's in here? Basically nothing. But I'm gonna check still because why not? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh shit! Did you saw that, Safi? Don't tell me you can't see it. What the fuck? It just there was some sort of shadow. Hey, stop it! You just mistook something, right? If that's Lisa, I hope I'm gonna knock you out. What the fuck is that, a doll? There's a doll in the bed. It can't be the doll fucking moving. Okay. That was weird. So many saves in this game. Ooh, we can break that, right? Hammer time. Just kidding. Oh, it's a graffiti. I thought it was a hole. Drain. You want to go to the bathroom with me? Okay. Because I like girls who's older than me. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just in, in like, uh, school. Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh, it's here. This... It's the doll that was in the flower pot. It was over there? You're sure of that? Are you saying the doll moved by itself? Yes. I'm not lying. It was really over there before. S seriously, you don't have to shout. <laughs> okay. There's a doll with hair wrapped around its toilet. It has no head. Do we have to find a head for it? Or can I, like, stab it? Okay, I just wanted to test it. I still don't see why I have a pencil case and what's the use of it. Okay, I don't really need to go check on every bathroom. That's nice. Is that a fucking shadow? Anyway, I'm going in this room. Can you wait there, shadow? Thank you. And basically, anything useless. Yep. Typical, typical. I don't need to save now. Come on, bitch. Great. Is something good to eat? Nope. A book. That's a nice book. Oh, okay. That Andy really creeps me out. He always gathering people around the visiting area for some weird divi divination. They're convinced they have to follow their fortunes. Sometimes they won't eat or won't take baths. And or they will burn their own hands. The patient in two, 2103 is finally getting sent to the building 3. Thank goodness that girl drove the doctor up the wall and sent him on vacation. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And making a, a psycho... Oh, I can't say it. I'm too stupid. Erotic is no joke. Just watching her wander around makes me feel like I might lose it, too. And he's not listening to me anymore. Says he got a bad fortune, so he won't leave the room. He's just been clinging to the table. We'll have to hope he dies that way. Oh shit. Lost the key to the library. Well, there's a spare, so I can probably leave it. Besides, I don't want to get yelled at. Okay. This place is crazy. Where the fuck she went? 
Don't tell me you're hiding in the fucking tub. Well, that was a waste of time. A bathtub filled with muddy water. Can't there be a plug or some shit? Okay. Okay, I can't, like... Okay. If you say so. It won't open. Okay, this is where I think I have an idea where to go. So, I might edit here so to see if I'm right.